hello student so i uh, am recording this lecture to show you basically the practicals that cannot be done due, due to the lockdown so see that how can we do that practical so basically just open the v lab i have a link that we will be sharing with you just open the vlab and my website has a link that i will share with uh, with you in the website and with that link up in this page will open and there is a demo video also okay so see first go on with the theory see the theory that it is written that the aim is to determine the rigidity modulus of a material of a given cylinder rod scale scope and a scale method what is the apparatus that is needed there needed is seal static torsion apparatus rod with attaches pulley a pulley is there with a rod there is a, must be a weight hanger there must be some weight there must be a telescope a mirror and a scale so what is basically a rigid modulus so yeah, so let consider a cube there has been a area of cross section and a force is applying tangentially um as the force is applying tangentially there will be a certain movement of the cube and that movement is delta x and the length of l as there is a cos theta we can write we can write this angle as l cos theta there is an angle so but we we will take the original length but we will only take it because the Length of the cube, length of the cube will remain constant. Length of this side will remain constant, although. But you see this. N equals to f by a is a shearing stress by shearing strain, and we know the shearing stress formula is f by a x l by l, uh, and uh, that is the one. So let us come to this side. First, see. Suppose we consider a rod. and we consider a uh, ring is lying inside a rod so basically if we see that uh, i am considering that ring have a radius r dash and that a rod have a radius r and uh, if i consider is with with dr then see that there is a force acting tangentially and a torque is applying on this we are applying a torque so as the force is applying tangentially and we are applying a torque we know the formula a is equal to t by r dash why the r dash because the force is applying on the ring and the ring has a radius of r dash so basically if i write the equation here that a is nothing but 2 pi by r 2 is because it is ap applying the uh, force in two directions so it is 2 and by area is pi r square by theta r theta r is nothing but the weight by l then if we substitute this in this equation we get this equation now basically see this equation is nothing but the torque t is applied by hanging a weight so basically now if i attach that rod with a pulley so there must be some tension okay there must be some force and we have keep the uh, mass over it so tension must be mgr and a torque is applied that is mgr nothing so by the definition of n we can write it as 2 mgr by pi r to the power 4 into l by theta so see this is a very good experiment and you can go through this procedure that how to perform the experiment for a real lab and how to perform the experiment for a stimulation lab so basically what is the um, uh, so first go on with the procedure then i will go on with the experiment so first uh, you use um, go on that um, what is the basically the length of the rod the length of the rod um, here we are taking the full length as the 50 cm so basically as we are taking the full length of 50 cm uh, but we will not write here the 50 cm this length of the rod means that from up to which length the mirror is placed so i have kept the i will keep the mirror 25 cm so the length will be the 25 cm the distance between the scale and mirror will be the 100 and that will be same and the load in the weight hanger will be i will start from 
hundred and yeah, it will go up to seven in uh, and I will go the M the here the M is hundred so then six hundred seven hundred eight hundred and up to twelve hundred twelve hundred so basically there is a um, uh, reading uh, telescope reading the telescope reading we will always take the ri right hand reading okay when I see when I will see you Mm, the reading so then then you will understand so basically the loaded area we are loading reading and the unloading reading. basically a loading reading, unloading reading will be same because it's a virtual lab so you can see as it's your first virtual lab you can understand a little bit but uh, when i will go to the experiment you will see that as it is a virtual lab you can see every bit of it so basically anti-clockwise and uh, twice uh, and a mean there must be loading unloading and mean also so what is a mean twist mean twist is nothing but the s2 minus s1 divided by 2 okay and what is this twist for a load m so basically leave the first four reading leave the first four reading and you start from x4 you start from x4 and go on to read x4 minus x0 x5 minus x1 x6 minus x2 x7 minus x3 x if there is m it is not there but if there is x8 then it will it will happen x8 minus x4 so leave the first four reading for a twist 4m because that is a 4m we are leaving four of the mean and then we are calculating all so basically and then table it is the next table it is written twist for the load m for a load m just simply divide this four numbers divided by four it will give us the four readings then id by s then id by s uh, is that c it very carefully is here is uh, sorry uh, i have to tell wrong uh, it is ld by s it is ld by s uh, and l is nothing but the length and d is nothing but the distance length is 0. Point, uh, 0. Point something 25 meter 0. 0.25 meter okay and uh, it, it is 100 centimeters equal to 1 meter so it, it will be 0 0.25 into 1 that is in meter not in centimeter not in centimeter but in meter and uh, divide by s and s what is the s s is the this twice for the uh, load m twist for the load m so these four readings uh, are the s so uh, we know all the reading and we can calculate four id by s we can calculate 4 id by s so uh, we are getting 4 id by s then take the average of that then take the average of that after taking the average of that you can um, say that um, uh, we are getting the average so ultimately uh, when we get the average of this come to the theory part and see note this down because it is very important uh, and see that there is a formula around here hey, in which we are um, when atlas are fully uh, it will oscillate some a bit and they will make an angle theta so basically uh, and from this way and they we are placing a mirror uh, as we place the uh, mirror it makes an angle okay so uh, and there is a shearing force that is applying from the top so basically um, the formula goes here is that that it is n 4 mgr pi r to the power 4 into l d by s so basically um, 4 m so what is the m m is nothing but the uh, 100 gram convert into, into kg so and the r is uh, nothing but the the R of the what is the R? C basically what is the capital R? Let us see. Capital R is the radius of the pulley, and I will tell you in the experiment that the what is the radius of the pulley. And now the capital, uh, now the LD by S we have found found out, and pi R to the R four. What is this R? And this R is the radius of the rod okay so uh, by this way we can find out the mm, find out the modulus so basically uh, this modulus uh, and uh, is coming is going to come as uh, 2.1 and something more than less 
so um, so let's do one with the experiment uh, and then we click on the stimulator then we click on the stimulator but and it is said that sign in to view the content so basically to give this first click login and then you put your email id and then set the password of here so then uh, click on login so after clicking on login see that they are they will come like this the select our apps of return then click on to this and and here you do this allow once now if you allow there is a lab coming out here one minute see our lab is coming out here okay so see the lab is coming out here so basically now see one minute first choose the material of a rod so here it is said that uh, what what is the material of a rod uh, it should be always be iron uh, iron will be the perfect fitting uh, yeah, it should be suited as iron the gravity is 9.8 that is right here we can uh, and the mass of the weight ring that is uh, this one mm, and mass of the weight ring the first one is uh, 500 then i have said 500 plus 100 the 600 then 700 then 400 and up to 1200 now for example 25 we have taken as 25 centimeter then now see here it is written that capital r that capital r is the pulley radius is 5 centimeter and that small r is the rod radius it is 3 millimeter now distance is 200 centimeter that is fixed um, mirror from the fixing is 25 centimeter that is also fixed okay now we see here this 25 centimeter is the nothing but the length of the rod okay and this is nothing but the distance of between the scale and the mirror between between the that d part so basically if i take the reading now see the reading is something coming like reading is something coming like 4.6 we, we will consider this part i have said that we will consider the uh, right part so it is coming as 4.66 so basically it will coming as 4.6 then you show show the result huh? but don't s see this result mm, you will finally because it is in newton per meter square always it is right but it is mm, does not show the result calculate on, on your own um, so it is uh, 4.6 uh, is coming then increase the weight up to 600 then another reading will come then increase the weight another reading will come then increase so increase the weight and uh, up to 800 and up to 900 and up to then 1000 then uh, 1100 then 1200 so up, take up to this reading Oh, it is okay so basically on a ring just make a table like that mm, after taking this reading set all the position after taking a uh, take a um, table and write that okay then after making that mm, uh, unload it how, how we unload it first take this reading for 12,000 12,000 then then unload 1100 zero, zero, then uh, take the reading for 110 then again unload one zero zero the value will come same because it is a virtual lab so the mean will also come same so um, so again unloaded like this i am unloading it like this see 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 again i'm unloading it so that you are getting the same reading only because it is a virtual lab so basically see when i then you take the reading and you take the mean after that see that here it is written anti-clockwise mm, click this anti-clockwise bottom after you click this anti -clockwise bottom you will take these readings as well in the previous case you will have taken this reading in this case you will take these readings only then you will again increase you will again increase this is a loading part and after and you will increase till 1200 zero zero. Mm, then you will decrease that is the unloading part then you will take the mean after decreasing note the values although 
the unloading and the loading reading will be same because it is a virtual lab then take the mean and after taking the mean come on to the table take the table so we have found out this to be 25 centimeter we have found out this to be 100 centimeter that i have told the scalar mirror is 100 centimeter and it is 500 to 1200 and uh, now this is unloading uh, this is loading uh, which i have taken and then we have unloaded we have taken we have taken the mean and we have taken also the loading part for the anti clockwise for uh, unloading and for a uh, mean so then we have minus s2 minus s1 divided by 2 will take us this then the twist divide by 4 and that calculation after calculating all these things go to this turn, go to this put the m value as 100 gram converting to kg now r is nothing but the radius of the pulley the small r is nothing but the radius of a rod and l by s we have to take the average and after taking the average after taking the average it will the average will come and we will get the n to be 0 0.1 0 sorry sorry 0 0.1 uh, sorry 1 2.1 okay sorry for the mistake so i am ending with this topic of discussion let come to again we will come again with a new lecture and new procedure be live soon and basically ask all your doubt in the comment box we will see your reply please see it is for the engineer student who will who is not able to do their practical uh, seriously and they it might help them also so goodbye